What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Cal here from Buffalo Sports Center, and today we are here to preview the first preseason game of the year for the Buffalo Bills. We'll be taking on the Indianapolis Colts at Highmark Stadium this Saturday. Should be a good game, so let's get right into it. Obviously, these two teams have some history. The 2020-2021 season for the Bills was a wild one, and the playoffs started with a home game against the Colts. High event game, obviously back and forth, came down to that Hail Mary throw, and the Bills are able to defend that one and get the win 27-24. That was a wild game. I know I was going crazy, a lot of Bills fans were going nuts, and that was a fun one. But the tides turned last season. The Colts absolutely skunked the Bills 41-15 in a one-sided affair. We could not stop their run game. Uh, the Bills just could not generate any offense either. It was a very sloppy game. I'd say the most embarrassing game minus that Jaguars game last season. And the Colts definitely had the Bills number last year. But this is preseason. Obviously, wins and losses don't really matter. We're looking at performance. So let's get into the Colts roster a little more. Obviously, no more Carson Wentz. He's on the Washington Commanders. So now they got starting QB Matt Ryan from the Falcons. An interesting move, to say the uh, to say the least there. Um, Colts still rocking with the old white man um, QB there. And we'll see how that goes for them. But again, another, another quarterback who's not very mobile. You know, definitely going to have to be a game manager for them. He might play a little bit in this game, but I wouldn't expect to see any more than a few drives. Um, and their defense is still phenomenal. They added Stephon Gilmore, Yannick, and Gakoy. That team's going to be scary in the regular season. But again, preseason game, how much we see of these guys, maybe a little bit, maybe none, still to be determined. Uh, let's switch over to the Bills a little bit here. This is where it gets interesting for us Bills fans. Obviously, it a uh, key player for me is James Cook. I think James Cook is going to see the ball a ton in the preseason. It'll be interesting to see what he could do because in that return of the red and blue uh, practice, Zach Moss looked very good hitting the holes. Same with Singletary and Johnson. So it's, it's going to be a tough battle in that running back room. I think James Cook definitely has what it takes. He's looked great through camp, but this is real game, game footage here, real game opportunities and touches for James Cook. And this will be his first little taste of NFL football. We'll see what he could do. And then obviously Shakir. Shakir, you know, stepping into that wide receiver role. Definitely think he could play a part. Could be like a Gabe Davis from one to two years ago. Kind of fill in that fifth, fourth receiver role. Kind of that young body that no one really knows how to guard yet. And then the rest of the offense. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Case Keenum will definitely get a few touches, a few drives. Same thing with Matt Barkley. We'll see how the Bills roll out. Now let's switch to the defense. This is where it gets even more interesting. Kair Elam will get his first touches, his first reps at uh, you know an NFL level in game action, um, and we're one you know Tyree Kill uh, setback away from Elam lining up against Cooper Cup Week One, so we'll we'll definitely keep an eye on him, see how he does, and then obviously the biggest battle on the defense I'd say is the safeties with Jordan Poyer hurt now, Demar Hamlin and Jaquan Johnson have huge opportunities to make a name for themselves in this preseason game. So we'll see how that goes. Another thing I wanted to touch on is the D-line. Uh, the D-line's very competitive this year, and it's a big position battle. Some guys who have stood out in practice, obviously Von Miller, Boogie Basham, Ed Oliver, A.J. Epinesa. We'll see what they look like in the games. Obviously, practice is one thing, games are another, so we'll see how that turns out. And then Terrell Bernard, a very sleeper pick for the Bills. Um, I don't feel like a lot of people are talking about him. But I think he'll make a few big plays in preseason and definitely make the Bills consider uh, putting him on the roster. Um, some final final, uh, final notes here for the Bills. I think the Bills are definitely going to come out in this game. We, we've seen in the past, the Bills are very consistent in the preseason, very, very ordered. And they, they definitely have won under Sean McDermott in the preseason. So my pick for this game is the Bills pick up the win 28-21. Now, obviously, like we said earlier, preseason game wins and losses don't matter at all we're looking for player development specific uh battles obviously we're going to be watching the bills punters a lot watching tyler bass and then obviously the Colts special teams as well but yeah that's my pick bills 28 21 leave your predictions in the comments tell me what you think's going to happen tell me who you think's going to have a big game and yeah we'll see how it goes should be a fun one week one of the preseason i know i'm more excited for this game than some of the regular season games last year. I'm just so ready for football to be back. It's going to be an absolutely phenomenal game. 
that atmosphere at uh, Highmark Stadium is going to be nuts. Uh, it was for the practice, and I can only imagine for these two preseason games. So with that being said, I'll see you guys for the recap after this game, and leave a comment, subscribe, and follow the Instagram. See you guys later.